Hey guys and welcome to another Minecraft video. My name is Spicier Crowd9 and this is part two in this still never ending series of Minecraft tips and tricks. Please don't forget to like and comment on the video and smash the subscribe button if you're new here. I also want to say that I do stream on Twitch every Monday through Friday at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Love to see you there. Love to see you come hang out in our chat. It'd be awesome. It'd be great. It'd be great. But guys, in today's episode, I want to talk about wall texturing. Uh, wall texturing is something we get a lot of questions about in stream. People ask, you know, hey, Spicy, you know, what do you do for wall texturing and things like that? So today, I'm going to show you. We're going to start out here with Simple House, some wall texturing. We're going to grab a few blocks here real fast, and then we're going to go through, and I'm going to show you exactly how I wall texture. So lots of times you get these just real simple houses, real simple walls, but, you know, they don't really look that great. They don't really look good they don't really have character they don't really have style or anything like that but you can you can very easily very easily dress up a wall just by adding a few extra blocks in here and there just trying something out simple say we're gonna have a window we're gonna have a window see that looks so much better so much better than just these plain cobblestone walls and it looks natural it doesn't look weird it doesn't look off doesn't look anything like that so actually we're going to go into some new blocks too and talk about so a lot of people have been overlooking the coral the dead coral blocks lately the dead coral blocks actually can add a lot of variety and a lot of texture into a wall and we're actually going to show you some of those right now uh, there's a few of them that look okay with it there's a few of them that don't look okay with it you can kind of be the judge of it yourself you can kind of pick your own textures and kind of go through but you kind of mix all this stuff in together so you know let's let's say we're going to take these two out here we're going to take this one here we're going to take that one and we're going to do we're going to you know mix in some simple stuff here we'll just go down the lines take a look at how we're going to do it and there we go we can knock our window in whoops wrong key spicy and see there so some people may like this some people may not some people may want to go with this over here a little more it's a little more natural this here is a little you know it's it's a, it's an acquired taste it, it's just it, if you like it you like it if you don't you don't it's kind of kind of the way it goes but it's very simple it's very beautiful even if you're just doing just a just a mossy a mossy wall say we just we just want a lot of moss and stuff mixed in with our walls you know we can just ah, it's still a wrong button spicy how about that you still just add that moss in it's very very beautiful very very beautiful now we're going to go over here and we're going to do we're going to talk about stone brick walls too so uh with stone brick with stone brick you can still add in some of these textures but now we've got a whole new variety a whole new variety let's get rid of these let's let's get those out of here let's let's get these other ones out of here too let's let's get those and that one out of here too uh, we got the mossy we've got the crack and we've also don't forget don't forget Chisel stone brick is overlooked quite often. Quite often is overlooked. So, you know, let's, you know we're going to have a window here again. Let's, let's you know, or if, even if we're just doing a different wall, but we're going we're gonna to do it like this. So we just add a couple in here and there. You can add a mossy in. You can add a mossy. You can add, you know, you know maybe the corner down here. Maybe, maybe, maybe the house has been around for a while and it's got a lot of stuff going. You can add the cracked in. Looks great. Looks beautiful. Looks amazing. You can come in over here again. We're going to take that one out this time because we're going to do something a little different do something a little bit different so say we've got a little, little mossy there a little this going on here and then this but then maybe you want a centerpiece for your window for your windows or whatever to make them look better there you go wall texturing it's simple it's easy it's fun to do it's amazing so what if we have wood mixed in what if we've got some wood mixed into our wall that we want to take care of so we've got the stone we've got let's see let's get let's get rid of some stuff again let's get rid of these no i didn't want to get rid of that but that's okay we'll hold on to that what are we doing okay there we go there we go so we got this beautiful little wall here we've got a nice combination of wood we got a nice combination of stone so we want to fix this up so we're just going to come in here we're going to knock a few pieces out here and there maybe not go overboard maybe not go too overboard so let's just let's say we're going to do this here here like this so there we got we got the stone part we got the stone part in spicy just can't hit buttons today so you know let, let's say we're going to have a window here but we can knock this one out here and stripped oak logs look fantastic whoops whoops ah spicy's just messing all up today isn't he stripped oak look at that look how nice it looks look how nice it looks maybe we're going to do a solid wall Maybe a solid wall and you can even turn them 
in different directions to give the wall a completely and totally different look. Completely and totally different look. It's beautiful. It's amazing. I love it. It's awesome. It's awesome. So let's say that you've got just this big, huge blank wall. Big, huge blank wall. Well, we didn't go over all of the wood. Just the wood. Just wood. Nothing but wood. All wood. Same way. And even if you want to make the houses look a little bit more run down, you want to have some different wood tones, some different types, some different things going on in your walls. It's very easy to do that as well. So let's say that that, that, that this particular house here is a little more a little more run down. We've got we've got some some repaired planks and stuff in there. We want to we want to really that's the wrong color, isn't it? Yeah, let's do this. Oops. We want to get it mixed in a little bit. We're looking like a checkerboard. But it's okay. Come in and add some of the stripped in as well. Wall texturing. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. You guys get it. We don't need to see any more. Let's move on to just this cobblestone wall. Just a just a basic cobblestone wall. We don't want to add any stone brick or anything into it because it's just a cobblestone wall. But we come in just very random and just start knocking some places out. And then we'll come back in. And we'll, you, know, you can do this. You can do the regular stone on top. If you, you know, most of your mossy stuff would be around the bottom of your, around the bottom of your walls, around the bottom of your walls. You can mix a little bit of the of, of the normal stone in with it. A little bit of normal stone in. And now the walling, and now the walling, the walling, the wall, the wall is a lot more interesting, a lot more interesting to look at. And maybe we'll pop another one in here. And maybe one up there. There. Not there. Come on, Spicy. Get it together. Get it together. Wall texturing. Looks so much better. So much better. Let's clear all this stuff out of here. Let's clear all this stuff out. We've got one more wall, I do believe, to go over. One more wall to go over. And that's stone brick. Now, the cobblestone walls, yes, they look nice with the stone and stuff mixed in. But you're really going to see a huge difference with the stone brick walls. Stone brick walls look really, really good when you add the mixture of the of the of the, of the regular stone in. Look how, how look how well that blends in together. Look how well it blends in. So say we want we want some some regular stone. We want some regular stone mixed in. We're gonna mix some of that in. And then let's say that we're gonna do. Let's see, we'll do that there. Might might have went a little overboard, a little overboard there. But it looks like patches, patchwork in the walls. See how good that looks? It looks amazing. It looks awesome. But maybe we want to add some mossy in here on the bottom. Uh, maybe we want that mossy to carry up a little bit too, as well. Maybe we, maybe, maybe our house is in a swamp. Maybe it's in a swamp. Maybe Shrek's telling us, "Get out of my swamp!" Or what are you doing in my swamp? Who knows? But then you add just a few pieces of the cracked in, and it really makes a huge difference in the texturings of your wall. The texturings of your wall. It's it's just complete. I'm repeating myself again. We're on repeat. We're on repeat. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. Huge differences in your wall. Huge. So most people may have already known these things. Some people may not have known these things. I was here today more or less to show you guys the way I texture walls up what I do with the walls. We've been asked a lot. I wanted to do a short little tri uh, tips and tricks video just to show you guys exactly what I do with my walls when I'm playing Minecraft. Hopefully I've, hopefully I've given you some inspiration today. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you do, please don't forget to smash that follow button. Don't forget that we do stream on Twitch every Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, guys, thank you so much for being here today, for watching the video. I do appreciate it, and we will see you next time. Bye.